In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to create this cool Nike's logo animation using trim pads, repeater, and wave warp. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So first things first, I already have my composition ready. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating a stroke using a pen tool. So I'll grab a pen tool and I'll turn off the fill color because I don't want any fill color and I have a stroke of this color and my stroke would be around five pixels so I'd be just creating a straight line at first so I'll press left click mouse button and then go all the way to the end and then press and hold shift and then press left click again so that way I can get a straight line so after that I'll be aligning it to the center so once it's in the center, the anchor point doesn't matter where it is because we're not going to be bothered by that. So I'm going to label this and call it the waves. So if you've seen the video of the animation, you've noticed that at first the line comes in and afterwards it's like a wave. So it changes its direction from left to right and then stretches a bit and then comes out and then starts going to the Nike's logo form. So in order for us to achieve that, the first thing that we're going to do is go drop down to the waves, go to add, and then we're going to add something called trim pads. So what is trim pads is used for basically for trimming the pads as the name suggests. So we have two points, the start and the end. The start trims the start point and the end ends it from the end. So we're going to be ending start uh, trimming it from the end. So I'll have my stopwatch over here click it and then i'll actually zoom in a bit and then go around one second and in one second i'll be actually changing this over there so over here i'll be changing this to zero then what will happen is from zero it'll zero it'll start growing and go all the way filling it up in hun uh in one second then we're gonna select both of these keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and go with easy ease. Once we're done with easy ease, we're gonna apply a better animation for it. So we're gonna play around with the speed time graph. As you can see, the speed's gonna start slow and then accelerate all the way up. So let's see how it looks now. Make sure that your motion blur is also on in this case. And then let's check it out. This is what it looks like. It's quite basic right now. The next thing that we are gonna work with is the waves. And for the waves, we're gonna start applying waves from here. So how do we apply waves? It's a common plugin in After Effects. I love it. I love using it a lot. Go to effects and presets and search for waves. It's called wave warp. So if you get the web warp and wave warp and drag and drop it to your layer, you're gonna see that there is a wave instead of the normal linear stroke so you can play with the type of the wave you can have a sine wave you can have a square triangle sawtooth and you can see that the wave changes accordingly it's pretty cool to play with you can play around and do a lot of stuff with it, it has a lot of potential so after i have it i'll have it as the wave sine wave over here and i'll be changing its wave height to 18 now what the wave height does is just plays around with the height of the wave so I'll put it back to 18. once i have it in 18 i'll play around with the wave width i guess 40 is fine for now but what the wave width does is it takes more space for each wave's width and shows less waves on the screen so i guess i'll go with 40 for now and the direction is which angle the wave is going to be pointing at so i'll be having this around 230. So I'll point to the left side and then later it's going to go to the right side. And then the wave speed, I'm going to make it two. And now for pinning, what is pinning? Pinning is basically where we pin the points. It's not going to start the wave. It's going to eventually start the wave from there and carry it on. So for an example, if I have pinning on the left edge, it's going to not start the wave right away. It's going to pin it and then start the wave eventually. So we're going to have it as vertical edges because we want it to be pinned from both left and right and the waves in the middle. So that looks a bit unique in that case. So that's why I wanted it to be like that. 
once that is done we're gonna start playing with the wave height because if you remember in the video we started with the waves height and then the direction so at first over here i clicked on the time uh stop stopwatch for wave height and after you do it for in order for it to be visible here on the layer panel you just double click on this and you will see it remember you have to at first turn the stopwatch on so in one second i have this wave height set to 18 and maybe i'll go around 230 over here and at 230 i'll be changing the wave height to 173 so as you can see the wave increased by a lot uh the height so now we're gonna apply keep easy ease and then maybe play around with this as well try it speed up first and then slower down let's see how it looks like Alright, that looks great. So once that is done, we are also going to play with the direction. Now for the direction, we are going to initially start from the same time. From one second, we are going to hit the direction. And then as you can see, the direction is already visible here. We're not going to mess with anything more. We're just going to end it at the same time with the direction of 347. So once we have 347, we're going to take both of these. And we are gonna keyframe assistant easy and you as you have guessed. Same doing with the graph. And over here, I won't be doing it at the same time. Keep that in mind. So maybe it, it, at the center, like so, it's gonna change the height first, and eventually it's gonna change the direction. So it's like going like this, changing the height, and then it starts to change the direction, as you can see. So everything's not gonna happen right away. So it's like one thing, then the other, so the user can like, oh, okay this is going on instead of getting overwhelmed by that many animation so we're gonna end it around i guess 314 maybe think of it backwards yeah that would be great and after that we're gonna have one more wave for later because right now if you notice it kind of resembles the nike's logo a bit but not all the way the angle and the switch sign how it looks like so yeah and then the next thing that we're gonna do is in order to make it a bit more interesting is that we're gonna apply a few more of these lines so you would rather think that okay i can just press ctrl b and duplicate this layer nope you're not gonna do that there's an easier way so you just go to add simply under contents and then go and look for something called a repeater so the repeater is a really cool tool that you have so you can make copies of how many ever you want and then you've got an offset and then the composite i'm gonna put it above so it's gonna be above the main one the composite one and then in the repeater itself you can see there are enough option of position now so in order to be able to view them i'm gonna just turn down this position to zero and make this position to 72. so now as you can see that my others are visible they were technically over here at first but now yeah i have this easier so as you can see there are like three lines makes it more interesting so these three lines or waves are gonna be making the nike's logo so the next thing that i want to do is play around with the wave a bit more because i want it to be adjust with the nike's logo so i already have the nike's logo over here so i'm gonna drag it and put it up here and maybe scale it to around 8.5 that should do so as you can see that my position of the wave isn't like exactly at the center so i'll just play around with it for now it doesn't have to be like specifically the same for this so i will be making it around 958 and over here i'll be making the position around 488 so as you can see it's more towards the center now and the nike logo is all inside that's what we want to make sure that it's all inside all the waves perfectly and once as you can see that the angle is almost close to the nike sign but it's not there yet we're gonna play with that now so we're gonna go back to the waves. so how can you already look for your active animation that's going on in a layer just press the layer and then press u 
and you'll see all of those going on that's going on wait that's not the one press you again yeah so as you can see i have all everything that's going on right now over here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play with the brave direction a bit more so that it just with the nike's logo so the wave around 400 and 434 maybe i'll be eventually changing it again so over here i'm gonna play with the direction a bit more and change this direction to uh 333 so as you can see that the this kind of matches the nike's angle a bit more as you can see over here so it's like this it's going and then changing its direction again just like that so once that is done the next step that we are gonna do is if you notice the lines are very thin we want it to be more thick so that it can adjust into a nike's logo so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the waves width as well but before we do that we are also gonna play with the uh waves itself like the repeater so we're gonna go down to repeater and then we're gonna look for its position so over here to the repeater make sure you're under repeater and then transform repeater not the position or the normal scale so what we're gonna do is over here for the repeater we're gonna start it from around 248 seconds and two seconds 48 frames so 48 frames around here we're gonna start playing around with the position and the scale so we are gonna end this around i'd say mm, 434 434 so over here we're gonna end it and what we're gonna technically do is we're gonna play with the position and the scale so if you notice when i scale it above it goes keeps on going above but we don't want it to go above we want it to be at the same place so the scaling may be around 421 and then accordingly we're gonna adjust the position so that it still stays in the center so maybe something like that as you can see that's more blending in now and you can see that the nike's logo is almost there by blending with this wave that's our goal over here so then it's most of the time you have to like play with it to understand what's going on because i had to tweak around these values and see that how it matches uh so we're gonna use easy ease for these as well and then if you want to play with the keys logo perfectly yeah and then after this is done i think i'll actually apply this graph like this yeah so that looks nice okay once that is done we're gonna go back to our waves and the start and end path because now what we want to do is we're gonna cut the trim and we're gonna trim the paths from start and the end and go all the way to the middle so that we have the nike's portion so we're gonna start with that we're gonna play with the trim from 513 i believe So, okay, starting from here, we're gonna set a keyframe first. At 434, we're gonna set a keyframe for the paths, trim paths. So I have the trim paths start and end. I'll have both the keyframes on since we want it to be centered. And over here, I'm gonna add another for the end path. And then around 513, I think I'll apply the start to be 49 because this is how it looked good when i was working with it and for the end i won't adjust anything here yet i'll be going to 547 and over here i'm gonna make this 50 and i'm gonna make this 50. note that when you make these two 50 it's gonna completely disappear as you can see i mean not complete wait not completely but up to a point so as you can see that it's like almost dull so over here what the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply keyframe assistance easy ease to all of them 
and see how it looks like as you can see that it goes away like that okay once that is done what we're gonna do next is we already trimmed the pads but now we also need to increase the waves width itself so let's play around with the waves width uh we're gonna start from 434 again and over here we're gonna start with the waves width where is the waves width if i'll still from here and start the timer over here and if i go down over here and double click on it and will see that the waves width is here now appearing now we're gonna change the waves width to five at 513 513 yeah over here we're gonna change the waves width to be around 124 so it'll become more thick and that way it'll be easier for you to match with the thing all right great so as you can see it's almost quite there matching it and it's actually going too fast i think i will adjust this a bit more so that yeah that will look better disappear all right once that is done what we're gonna do is we are clearly not gonna be using this as the main track because now we have the logo over here we're gonna bring it down and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the waves with all the keyframes that's what we want so get the waves tool and make sure it's on top of your nike's logo and then what we're gonna go is go to this trick mat track mat and go make it alpha mat for the nike and make sure it's waves too so once it's waves to what it's going to do is it's the logo is going to form itself within that thing i mean the wave is going to form within that layer so if i mute this you can see that the nike logo is there and the changes are being made only to the logo which looks pretty sick so it's not gonna go outside of that so it's gonna help us blend it even better and since we have our keyframes right for both the layers it's gonna sync well as well but apart from that oh i actually forgot to add wave width keyframe assistance so i'll just add easy ease for both and just keep it there and over here what we're gonna do next is we're gonna play around with the nike's waves height so we're gonna make sure that it becomes completely green and not stay like that when the animation ends so for that we're gonna go to around 513 and over here we're gonna start playing with the wave's height so we're gonna set the wave height over here and then go where did we end this yeah over here so we're gonna make the wave height to a zero and then what we're gonna do is we're also gonna play with the scale option of the wave that we have under the uh, for the nike logo so we're gonna go and get scale pressing s and then pressing on the keyframe uh once that's done i'm just gonna press u and so that i have all my stuff visible and now over here the scale also will go up by 681 let's try 681 681 would look Okay, so one more thing there that I forgot to mention is that we're not gonna have any start or end over here because it's going to finish it as I told you guys earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely remove these. So the, the reason why it's not visible here is that we have to mess around with the anchor point for this wave. So we're gonna start messing around with the anchor point. Let's see where the anchor point is. So we're gonna give this anchor point all the way, not all the way up. Maybe around here, let's see. And as you can see that the anchor point, when the anchor point's there, it looks uh, better. 
so yeah i'm gonna make this easy ease as well so as you can see that it, the few things are ending together is the start and end of the first wave so that we can achieve this and then over there there's the wave height which we are going to make zero so that we can play around with the normal flat color so once the wave height is like this like linear we can play around with the scale and make it bigger so that we can achieve the whole green inside the nike logo that's the whole point so as we can see that there's this line present over here what we're gonna do is just we're gonna trim it like that so that's not visible in the next point so come to this and then go away and we open it until here and then go away yep just like that and for this layer what we're gonna do is the waves nike's wave we're gonna start it from the time we're gonna make it visible on before that and it's around 4 34 so we're gonna press alter and then the third bracket so that starts from here and cuts all the other keyframes because we do not need those keyframes so if you want you can also just delete those keyframes i'll just delete these and then we're gonna get this so let's have a look at how what we've got so it starts with the lines changes direction when the height grows bigger and then appears the nike's logo pretty cool right so if you notice that you can see initially the visibility of the nike's logo increasing and then there's there and then it fades away as it fades away it appears as a whole so that's the whole point there's no right or wrong to this you can play around with the values even more if you want it to be more uh look it more perfect give it a better feeling of it so yeah that's about it i hope you guys learned something new from this video i'll see you in the next one choose